Welcome back and today we are going to be looking at creating graph and this will be part one. So we're going to be learning how to create graphs. You've done land use land cover, you've done uh, any any calculation, anything, any production, anything you've done on ArcGIS I don't want to know and you want to create graphs. Most of the times we have to go use the Microsoft Excel package. Yes, it's still good. You can all do that in ArcGIS. So that's what this video is all about. We're going to be creating graphs and we're still going to be using this. So uh, we right click and go to open attribute. Now we have our attribute table open and you just click on this table options and then you come down to create graphs or create graph. Okay, so here is how this is being done. First we have graph type what type of graph are you planning on creating that's the first question so i want to create let's start with uh, let's leave the vertical bar so layer and table type these are your layers so uh, which of them do you want to maximize okay i want to maximize the rubber because once you're here, you can access every other thing on your layer tile. So you select the value field. Which field do you want to use for this creation? We're using population. So the moment we select population, sorry, now I don't want, I'm trying to use, uh, yes, vertical area. Yes. Population. That is not what I want to use now. Okay, sorry. I want to use scatter plot. Yes, so your graph type scatter plot. And then your field is a population field. Alright, so that's what I want to use now. That's what I want to create. I just want to create a scatter plot that you create on Microsoft Excel. Alright, so uh, the X field. I'm selecting an area so more like y and x so this is population this is area all right and then you can select whether the graph should be uh, right-handed or whether it should be left and right or let's leave it by the left where it was originally okay so the next is you want to change this color this color is matching with what is on the layer which is this you can see the color here that's what's matching but you can actually change the color by coming to either this palette which you see changes them so you can change the query from excel to either modern to either any of these to solid or to either any web and any of them that you want or you can change it to costume where you change directly here and it's also going to make one slight change but i think the palette is better because that gives you a relaxity of having different colors and all that so that's how to change color now we have the symbol properties you come to border and then you want to look at the colors you want to give them any other colors and all that so anything you want to do they are available the bush which the width of the uh the listing you can actually make them look like a cross line and all that so depending on what you want to do so you are seeing them you can make them these lines of this nature and then it's either rectangle a, a cycle or a triangle but if it's a triangle that means you have to reshape this so it depends on what you're choosing and all that so now after you're done with here um, the next is you move to the next now on the next is where you're going to uh, have your head in the title of the graph here you're just saying graph of tarawa well but you can change it by editing it let's make it nigeria so you see that after I change it also change you can have a foster then we just say graph so you see what it's doing so you see it's written like this side of the whole thing so you can write something maybe graph of 
or figo this or whatever. Just like in form of you're having it, you can produce everything, just carry it and put it on your wall. So if you want it to be displayed in 3D view, so I'll graph in 3D view. You check on this. So if they are graph legend, so you see the legend there. And so where you want the legend position at the top, at the right, at the left, at the bottom. So you just make a change to that. So axis left right bottom is area so you just make a change to where you want what is there and that so once you're done with this you click on finished so click on finish your graph comes out like this okay so your graph comes out like this you can expand it so that you see your graph okay so this is the scatter plot graph that we've created without anything that you just carry this and you put on your uh, microsoft document and you're good to go so if you want to export this you just right click on it and you see save this is just going to save it as a document then we have export which is the language we know how to use on ArcGIS desktop. So you choose the format you want to export to JPEG, to PNG, and any other format as PDF. It depends on what you want. And the comp compression level, uh, that's how high you want it to be. You all make a choice, all right? So the size now, that's the size of what you are using. So depending on what you want to do, you look at the size and where you want it to fit. You can also see file size, so it's going to take whatever. So just know that and then you hit on save so it's going to take you to a location and I'm going to save it as graph 1 so this graph 1 we're going to put it oh it took me to I'm going to put it in our, our GIS training folder so we have this and then I'm going to hit save so that will be saved so this brings us to the end of part 1 of this uh, graph uh, creation in ArcGIS desktop for this training.